message is what, what's going through your mind right now? A lot. I'm um, I'm just happy we won. We were able to beat a good pit team, and um, you know, going into ACC tournament, we're gonna see the same teams again. So we just want that same celebration. So we gotta keep playing hard. How much experience do you guys have cutting down nets? Have you guys cut down nets before? No, that was my first ever. I've never won a championship before. High school AAU, never. So this is cool. I liked it. <laughs> Wrap up. I know it just went down, but this is your senior day. You got the net around your net. Uh, Talk about this year, final. Big. Game. No, actually, it's not your final game, sir, but your final regular season. I know. Game. I was about to say, we got more business to take care of here. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm shocked. I'm not really shocked because I knew we were capable of winning. It's just like, it's here. Like, senior game, I'm happy that we were able to play for a championship on my senior game um, and just experience this. Would you say that this is the highlight of your career thus far? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every time you win a championship, you know, you cut down a net, you wear these t-shirts, uh, you see everyone on the team smiling, you, you hear the crowd going crazy. I mean, it's something you won't forget. Can you break down this um, victory for us? Um, what was the game plan going into the game today? The game plan, um, playing hard, you know, putting together all four quarters, not just playing hard just for, you know, one half, um, um, getting stops, rebounding, you know, just trying to have fun. Those are some of the things we've been trying to do as a team, and I think we did all of those things well tonight. Asia, in the end of that third quarter, um, you, know, you force a turnover, you know, you get the ball two seconds left. <laughs> Talk a little bit about you know what's going through your mind um, as you uh, sink yet another improbable shot. Well, it starts back when I didn't get back on D. I lost my man, and uh, I had to somewhat make up for that. So you know, I thankfully got the block. Um, you know, Sam threw me a great pass. I saw Mai telling her to throw 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 me the ball because I, there was nobody guarding me. So I mean, I had a <laughs> I had a great look. She threw me the ball, and I had a great look. Talk a little bit about what it's been like to play with Maisha for three years. Man, it's been it's been awesome just just to see her grow as a person and as a player. I mean, she's done you know such a great job. She's made each year she's taken a huge jump, and that's on both sides of the floor. Every uh, thing in her game, whether it's you know scoring, rebounding, defense, getting in uh, shape. I mean, she's a great player. You know, I can't wait to see her at the next stage of basketball. Um, she's going to do great things, and uh, she has all my love and support here. <laughs> Amazing. Um, when you're able to play with um, one of the top players in women's basketball, and I say it all the time, I think she's the best player in women's basketball. <laughs> it, it's phenomenal. But like most people don't know, she's a fantastic person. Like it's not just her on the basketball court. What she's shooting those threes, she's getting to the rim, all that different stuff. It's like off the court. Um, she's a great teammate. She's a great friend. So, I mean, aside from the basketball. She's just a great individual, and she said it first. Thanks, she got a friend in me. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. JJ, what enabled you to be so hot from beyond the arc tonight? I'm just trying to, you know, stay aggressive. You know, I was trying to create my, I was just trying to find shots, and you know, I was trying to play on both sides of the floor. I was just trying to play with a high, a high motor. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, necessarily just trying to think score, score, score. You know, even my teammates were te telling me to shoot because there was a, quite a few times on the court where I was wide open. So, you know, I was trying to find my teammates on the uh, court tonight as well. They shot the ball incredible tonight. So, you know, I think we play hard and we play well as a team. Asia, what does it mean to you to win the regular season conference championship? I mean means a whole lot you know these are one of the things we've been training for preseason you know getting up at five in the morning six in the morning um what better way to win on my uh senior night i mean that's incredible you know i'm glad we could get this huge win for her you know but this is step one you know we got more work to do this is not just you know the end we're going to keep going aisha what are you going to do with the net Keep it around my neck for right now. <laughs> I don't know if I have to give it back or what's up with it, but um, if I get to keep it, staying in my room, going with the uh, my trophies, so.
That's cool. I like it. <laughs> Looks good. Top seed. Uh, you won't get the double buy. You get one of the double buys and the side of the tournament. <laughs> How big is it? That you don't have to play until the quarterfinals. And what is that? What is that going to do for you um, in preparation uh, for the next week's tournament? I mean, I think it's huge. You have a chance, you know, sit back and watch the teams who you could possibly play, and it gives you a few few more days of rest as well. So, and also practice. You have a few more, you know, practices to get more shots up, clean some things up before you know we play that quarterfinals game. So, I mean, it's huge. Now, if I remember correctly, I think you were over a five seed last year. You had to play. You still got a buy, but you didn't have a double buy. Did, did your legs? Feel, um, did your legs feel it kind of? You know, when you got to the to the semifinals here against Notre Dame last year? Or? No, I don't think so. My previous years, we were um, we were a four seed, I think. So we had a double yeah. bye. So, I mean, during this time, it's win or go home. So we're not thinking about our legs. We're not thinking about our bodies. We're thinking about, you know, winning a championship and, you know, hopefully cutting down another net. So we don't really think about how our bodies is feeling. Our trainers will keep, will keep us going, make sure we're good, um, and the <clears throat> coaches too. Anything else for the athletes? Thanks. Great job, ladies. Thanks. Thank you. Great job.